yay, it's on. Share to my Bobby Ling. Hello, everyone. Surprise. Okay, we're on. This time I need to remember to mute myself. Hi, Rev. Oh my God. I need to go to Vancouver. I need to have my hair cut. But you guys don't want us. So, didn't expect to see me today, right? So what happens, I told you, I don't like to commit, but I do like to do things spontaneously. So today, because we're gonna do a filming for a video, stay tuned. So, um, and, and then after the, uh, the, the filming, I was like, I, have, I can only cook like a simple dinner for the kids, right? So I was like, well, since it's a simple dinner, you know what, honey, maybe we should just go on live. And we have all the setting, the lighting, and I already have makeup on, you know? Maybe if we do it today, then I don't need to put on makeup again this week. That's how lazy I am. And I was just like, mm, what do you think? And then my husband, of course, super nice and kind person. Hello, honey, did you hear me? <coughs> <laughs> he just like kind of, oh, okay, whatever you want, honey. So here we are. We're doing live. This is a super easy, dish but it will save your life whenever you need to make a quick dinner you know at home and you don't want to go out or you're gonna you don't want to do takeout I, w I i remember when i was little i always this is a there's this cantonese restaurant they do bento thing too so every time from my mom and my parent my, my dad if they want they they, they just want to order out so they will, they will always i was always hoping that they will order from this place because i love this egg drop gravy over rice kind of thing first of all i love eggs and second i i love everything that is with gravy you know like when i first come to the states oh my god don't laugh at me but then seriously like a mashed potato with gravy oh i was like this dish is like amazing i love it this is like i'm like oh god this is lucky americans they eat this throughout their life gosh i mean i love it so I love anything with gravy. So this dish is like my favorite, okay? But the lucky thing is, this gravy is not um, heavy, right? It's like, well, I use chicken broth, so it's not like uh, starchy and heavy, right? So it's good for us. Oh wait, speaking of which, I need to get my um, cornstarch. Before we started. I always will forget some ingredient. No matter how many times my husband asks me, do you have everything? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have everything, but I never have everything. Please say hi when you are hopping on so I know you're here with me. Okay, to the side, should we get started? Okay, we should just get started because I need a little time to marinate the shrimp, so I'm gonna just get started. So, I wanna talk about the shrimp. So I get it at this place called Crow Cow. Um, it's an online order. You can order beef and pork and seafood and chicken. So we've been getting their stuff, right? So I remember um, when we get the black cod, it's even like who, the captain who caught the fish. It's on the packaging. That's so cool. So you're like, oh, so he caught these fish for us, fish for us right? Um, and then these wild caught shrimps, because my daughter, she sometimes get allergic reaction if she eats some like farm raised fish or um, shrimps. So when I can, I always choose the wild caught and hopefully that is safe for her. Uh, that's why. Hi, Guo Junting. Well, Guo Junting, he has a recipe he wants that he taught me that I want to share one day, but then I need to get him online too. He has the best Airbnb that I've ever stayed in Taiwan, Sun Moon Lake, Yu Yue Tan. 
you guys all need to go check it out. What's it called? Uh, Ba Fan. Well, we need to. I'll, I'll post the link in the description. Like, I mean, in the uh, comment when we're done live, doing live. Okay, so crowd cow. Back to crowd cow. Yeah, I got distracted. So, um, why do I like them? Because they only source all of these. Um, how do you say poultry or beef or pork or seafood from the farm or ranches or you know captains I guess <laughs> that they personally know and believe that you know they have they do it the right way so um, you know where your things are from international okay international Airbnb <laughs> uh, so you know where your food are from food is from and then you, you know it's a reliable source and we've been try we've tried their um, chicken that I, I actually really like because they have like the organic of course and they also have these pasture raised chicken yeah pasture raised chicken that we tried so you know I'm from Taiwan and in Taiwan we have like the um, I cannot say the most, but then it is one of the most amazing chicken in the world, which lead to ama amazing eggs in the world. We're going to talk about the eggs later too. I am so excited that we found something that is exciting. Um, anyway, back to the topic. What was I saying? Okay, so, so we have amazing chicken in Taiwan, right? So when I come here, it's kind of like, oh, disappointing, right? Because our chicken, if you, the chicken from Taiwan, if you bite into the bone, it's going gonna, it's gonna to crack your teeth. It's that healthy, okay? They're hearty, they're healthy, and their meat is chewy. I remember when we first moved back to Taiwan, because uh, my kids were growing up here until they were like five, uh, six years old. That's when we moved back for them to learn Chinese. The first time they had Taiwanese chicken back then, they my son actually gagged because he didn't expect that he needed to chew that much um, as his chicken, right? Chicken is soft and you just, and then you know, he gagged. So you know how amazing the texture and flavor is so intense. So when I come here, it's just so hard to find anything to even compare, right? So the pasture raised chicken is still not that, but it's way better than the normal American chickens that you can find here. So I've been um, ordering their chickens and their seafood and so far we're really happy with it and I will link, uh, this, uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the description or the comments later so that you can get $25 credits for your first order and me too. <laughs> For me, okay, I'm honest. So this is Tuji, right? Taiwan, but even Busi Tuji, it's still pretty good. I mean, you have to come and you'll know. Uh okay. Did you need to marinate your shrimp? Okay, yeah, yeah, I need to marinate my shrimp. See, I'm distracted easily. Okay, so these shrimps are pretty good they're very crunchy in texture but remember you see I'm using this paper towel why because shrimp if you want it to be crunchy you want to make sure it's dry okay you don't want it to be like very soggy but we're gonna marinate so afterwards we still have to tap pat it dry really dry again before we cook it I'm gonna turn this heat down okay what is that a little bit Taiwanese rice wine with no salt, okay? I know a lot of people can get Taiwanese rice wine nowadays in the Asian market. I have hair on my face. Um, on the, in the Asian market, but then a lot of times, if you go to the cooking section, those rice wine has salt in there. So you have to read your label. That way, when you marinate things and you add salt, it will be too salty, right? So you have to uh, be moderate with your salt. But this one, with no salt. Splash, splash, I think like a tablespoon or so. Okay. Now put it away because we don't need it anymore. And give it a good massage, okay? I always say I can't stand it when the celebrity chef just like sprinkle, sprinkle, done. Okay, let it sit. And then I'm mean like, no, you don't marinate things just like sprinkle, sprinkle, and done. You massage it, okay? 
at me every time I have to say it because that kills me. I mean, how are you gonna make flavor go in if you just sprinkle on the top, you know? It's all for show and I don't like it. Don't like it. I don't care how famous you are. I don't like it. Hi, Dad. Okay, now you massage it. You'll see the rice wine started to kind of get absorbed by the shrimp. Okay, now we're gonna season with salt. And, of course, massage. And I like to use ground white pepper for this dish. I feel the ground white pepper goes really well with shrimps. You should try it with any kind of cuisine. Try with a little bit of white pepper with shrimps, really good. Tiny bit, a little bit goes a long way. A good ground white pepper is very strong. Watch out, don't sneeze. Okay, massage, massage, massage. Get it in, in get all these flavor incorporated inside, okay. Now, sit aside. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So what else do you need? So I have some, you need some chicken broth. You can use store-bought, you know, nowadays you can get like the chicken bone broth, the, those better ones in, at Whole Foods or actually any market you can find like the bone broth. So that's what I would use if I, you're gonna use the store-bought store ones. But remember last Friday, we did the Taiwanese salsa chicken. And so after I use all the meat, shredded all the meat, I have the bone, uh, left over from the chicken. So I use that to make a pot of chicken broth. See, no waste. We're using every part of it. Okay, here I'm gonna show you. Can you see, or maybe I should do it here. And because of that, so the color is darker because it's already seasoned and roasted, the chicken. And, oh, look how how, um, how do you say it, thick or strong or hearty, you know, you can tell this, this broth is good, right? So I just kind of break it apart because it's already roasted, so you it's easily break it apart, the bones, and I just kind of break them in, apart into like smaller pieces and put it in and put however much water, not too much though, because it's already cooked, so you really can't bring out that much flavor anymore, so you don't want it to be too much water and dilute the flavor, so, uh, I don't know, this is what, I don't know. Anyways, you just kind of cover, just barely cover the chicken. And then you just bring it to boil and simmer for like an hour or an hour and a half. Turn the heat off, you have your instant chicken broth. You're not wasting anything, you're using all the things you, you know, you buy. So that's really good. Right, honey? I'm not, I'm not wasting money. That's right. That's right, which is not rare, but which is not often, it's very rare. But get what you can get, okay? Uh, hi, hi, Christine. Haley. Thank, oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm very high. That is the problem sometimes. <laughs> oh, I have never seen Christine online. This is ex exciting. Uh, yeah. My little assistant, the kids, they're kind of getting tired of me today, so they're all upstairs doing their own thing. So sad nowadays being a mom, you know? Anyways, okay, while it's marinating, the chicken broth is ready, so I'm gonna uh, just chop up some green onions because I like green onions, I like garlic, I like all of these spices and cilantro. If you watch me cooking, you know. Anything that can make me stinky. Like after I eat it, I have sticky bread. Most of the time I like it. <laughs> and that's why I love my husband <laughs> the most. Not that he makes me stinky, but you know. 
Where's my knife? Oh, here. Okay, let's chop up some green onions. See, this is like super thick, so I will, I don't like big chunk of green onions. I like them, and I like to have to bite into them, but I don't like it too big because it doesn't look good. It looks like it's a street food, you know? So I like to cut it in half lengthwise. If you want another one, so it's like kind of quarter it, right? Okay. Are you guys happy to see me today or you're like, come on? Because <laughs> my husband is like, oh, are you sure you want to do it? Nobody knows you're going to be on. I'm like, who cares? If I see you, I see you, right? Okay, now we're just going to chop it into small pieces. And you know the, the white part of the green onions actually have the most flavor, so... And the green part of the onions, because it's greener, so it's prettier on the dish, so you can't not, you know, not have any one of them. It's kind of like me and my husband. I'm too high. He's too quiet. I'm too all over the place. He's too organized. But you cannot have just one of us. You have to have both of us. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. you, huh? <laughs> He's like, mm, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. It's now official because I tell everyone. You cannot leave a lip without me now. All right. Chop, chop, chop. All right. Don't say that I'm wasteful, but then the end, they don't look good. I don't like them. But then I do compost all of my kitchen scrape. Uh, well, not the meat and stuff, but then all the veggies and stuff. I, I compost all of them and I put them back into my yard. So it's not really a waste, I think. Anyway, that justify that. I think I should put it in the container. Thing. A bowl. Because my mom might just be watching. She seriously, she seriously, oh, 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 it's here. She seriously will tell me that I'm too sloppy. We don't need that much green onions. If you don't want that much green onion, that's fine. These are all like optional. Okay, we're just trying to buy time for the, for the shrimp. Hey, hi Taka! Oh, now it's Taka! Oh, Taka is one of my favorite teenagers. Happy to see you too, Christine! Okay, now let's talk about the egg first. Because otherwise, later when I'm cooking and I get distracted, that's gonna be a disaster. So today, my husband came home from you know picking up stuff for the kids, and he goes, I got you a gift. And I was like, what is it? And then the kids and him presented me with this egg. And I tell you, from the box, I was like, oh, see how easy I am? Like a box of eggs, I'm like, oh, you love me. <laughs> Hey, do you have the box? Can you show? Oh, here. Just from the box, you know, oh, I so want to try them. And inside, they're all like different colors. I think, I think they do it on purpose. If they have different colors, you feel like it's so like from the yard of your neighbor, right? Okay, so look. But, but to be honest, I haven't tried them, okay? Today, it's just like, he, well, I said, oh, we are out of eggs, but we we're making egg drop tonight. So anyway, so he bought this. He's like, this is a gift for you. Excited. By the way, by the way, his Robin's friend King, he gave us some of his uh, his uh, farm his he, the, the chicken from his own backyard. <sighs> so good. Thank you so much. I enjoy them like so much. And then because they're so good, it's I eat them like hard boiled eggs. Because any other way, it, you it 
it's just a waste. You have to taste the, 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 the bouncy texture of the egg white and the creamy and the fragrant of the egg yolk. Okay, when the egg is really good, you don't want to do anything fancy. I'm telling you. All right, so I'll get it back to this egg. Happy egg, free range, okay? Heritage breed. Oh, this is already sound good. Because every, nowadays everyone's like free range, you know, but then you taste it like, ah, you know, it's okay. But this heritage breed. Okay, and then this here, here. Rich amber yolks. Oh, I'm like, okay. Thank you so much, guys. I love this gift. So let's take a look at the yolk later. Let's see if it's that rich amber look. Okay, 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 okay get started, get started. Okay, now, because we marinated the shrimp, so now it's kind of, um, what's that called? Uh, 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 soggy again, like with liquid inside, so we wanna make sure it's dry, so when we saute it, afterwards you get this crunchy texture, right? Okay, so let's do that. I am going to put it on top of this, drain it, okay? And now I'm gonna use paper towel to Use paper towel to tap, pat them dry really well. Okay. This is what I learned from an old lady a long, long time ago. But you know, whenever old lady want to tell me something about, you know, the kitchen wisdom, I always pay attention. Because they know their thing. I was going to say, they know their thing. But they do. I'm trying hard not to use dirty words, you know, in front of you guys. But you know why Gordon Ramsay is my favorite chef. <laughs> we have the same style and vocabulary. <laughs> and vocabulary is correct. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you were saying we don't have the same style? Well, the vocabulary is definitely correct. <laughs> you're terrible. Okay, anyways, you're not eating this tonight. Jisoo, right. <laughs> wash hands, wash hands, always wash your hands. Don't get lazy, okay? And when you wash, you really wash it. Okay, now, we're gonna start. It's so simple. From now, this movement on, it's probably take less than, less than 10 minutes and it will be done, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, let's keep it here. Okay, turn the heat on. Okay, staying it still, you have to heat it up really well and then heat up the oil really well, then it will become, what's that called? Nonstick. Okay, so be patient. We're gonna heat up the pan really well. Meanwhile, everybody please say hi to me. Come on. I think this froze. For me, it froze. Wait, we're back on. We're back on. Hey guys, I forgot to say again, share this video, please. You have to share and like to support, support, support me. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Okay, now it's heated up. Gotta pour in the oil because we're gonna saute the shrimp. Also, when you're sauteing shrimp, you, this is the tough one, you know? You cannot have too little oil and you cannot have too much oil. Is that helpful? <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> but you know, you know, that's important. Okay, right before we're gonna put the shrimp in, I mean, uh, okay, maybe not, I'm gonna do it later. Okay. Now, it's smoking. 
so you know it's hot enough, but I don't want to burn my shrimp. So now you know the pan, the wok is pressed. It should be non-stick. And if it sticks, we're gonna delete this live video because it's embarrassing. <laughs> well, let's see. So it shouldn't be sticking, but then I don't want to burn my uh, shrimp. So I'm gonna turn the heat low now. And then I'm gonna, just to make sure it's all dry, dry, dry. Dry, dry, dry. No, Baba, Sharon, Hui Fan. You see, it's not splashing, you know, I'm patting it dry really well. Okay, now it's in. I can turn the heat to about medium. Look at that! Non freaking stick. Okay? Now you want to turn the heat to medium. Give it a quick saute. Okay, higher, medium high. Okay, let it sit there. Medium high. Hi, Chen Yongliang. Thank you for coming up live and saying hi. It takes about three, four minutes to cook the shrimp, but we want to undercook it a little bit because later we still want to put it back into the gravy, into the um, broth to cook a little bit, so you don't want to overcook later. So we just kind of want to cook it 80% through. But I highly recommend you to saute your shrimp before you put it in the broth. That makes your broth more clean. And then also, after sauteing, the shrimp has better taste and fragrance. All right, turn heat off, take it out. Okay, now, we're gonna put in the broth. How much broth? It depends because like some people like um, some people like the gravy over rice is like more rice, less gravy, and some people like more gravy than rice. So it's up to you, your family, your habit. So, because cooking is just so personal. You know, one recipe, nobody makes the same taste in the same way, but then there's not one, there's never just one dish that is tasty, right? So it's always very personal. I'm gonna put it in. I love gravy, like I said earlier. And let me see. Okay. But also, you don't want it to be too much because then you dilute the, the flavor of the shrimp. See, we did not wash the um, wok because that flavor that you saute the shrimp in, it's in there. You want to use that. You don't want to waste that. So don't wash your pan. Just pour the broth in. Now bring it back to boil. Come on, I'm the one that's the, <laughs> that's doing that. He's sitting there. My dad was saying Robin's working hard. My... Working the camera angles is so hard. So hard. That is the thing, you know, it's funny because when we first got married, I moved here with him. And before we mo I moved here with him, I never came, lived in the States or studied in the States whatsoever. So that was my first time living in the U.S. And then back then there was no FaceTime or whatever. And then one day, and then I have allergy or whatever, I, I, have, I was very sinus when my parents called. And they were like, oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, you guys fighting? Oh, why are you so sinus? And then all that. I was like, no, 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 we're not fighting. I was just having probably allergy. 
And I was so touched that my parents were worried about me and all that. And guess what they say? They say, yeah, don't fight with Robert. He's such a nice guy. Don't do that to him. I'm like, what? You know, he just had that nice face. Okay, he, he was born with a face that is like so naive. That doesn't mean he's that naive, okay? So anyways, my parents always worry about him. Okay, so now this is boiling. I need to put this in, the shrimp in, Ooh. and this time we're going to cook it all the way through so the shrimp is cooked. So bring it back to boil and I am going to put in the green onions too because you want, I don't want the green onions to be overcooked and they look yellowy, but I also don't want it just to be put in and then not have time to release the flavor. So I'm gonna put it in now so that it's got the flavor in. And peas. And guys, I don't know, don't get those peas, that frozen peas, just frozen peas. They, nowadays they have like the petite frozen peas. They're so sweet and so tender, so good. Anyways, okay, break the eggs. I need to talk less and cook. Oh, oh, oh my God, look at the yolk. Okay, okay, where, where, here, here? Can you see? Okay, we'll do the top camera. Okay. Can you see? Can you see like it? Red. Okay, look. Can you see the orange from this lighting? Holy. Lower, lower. Lower, lower, lower this. Oh my God. Okay, let's try the other one. Oh gosh, I just want to eat it. Oh, this one's not as orangey. It's still orangey though. It's still pretty orangey compared to the normal ones, but that one was like, woo, look. Pretty? All right, people. You'd have to keep, uh, you have to stay tuned. So I'm gonna keep you posted after I try it with the hard boiled egg, and I'll tell you if it's a good egg or not, okay? Or if it's marketing. But at least they get a yolk, right? The color, right? Okay. Oh, this is so orangey. You guys have to see. Oh gosh. I'm drooling over the eggs. I love eggs. Okay, now this is done. Turn the heat to really low because now we're just, we don't want to overheat the uh, shrimp. And then we're going to season it with salt because we always want to taste it and season in the end. Okay, I'm doing this. Oh gosh, the green, the peas. Oh, just kind of, what, how do you say it? How, how um, enhance the whole flavor, balance it out. Cause it's, when it's all seafood, sometimes, you know, it can get a little bit overwhelming, but then this, well, this green onions and peas are just amazing. Okay, a little bit more. Because this is a gravy, so you want it to be a little bit saltier than the normal dish, but, okay. Okay, try again. Oh, it's so good. Okay, a little more. this will be good because we're gonna thicken it later and you can't really thicken up you can't add more salt after you thicken it okay okay perfect 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 now we just need a little cold water with this cornstarch Now you have to turn the heat back on. Okay. Starching 101. <laughs> so when you starch, you have to, every time when you put in a little bit, bit starch to thicken it, you really want to bring it back to boil to see, because that will, that it, after it's boiled, it's the final consistency. You can't just keep adding in because 
you know, when it's boiled, it's gonna thicken even more. So that's the tip. And you wanna really put it in when it's boiling, hard boiling. Give it a little time. And the egg drop, I, I didn't forget. So the egg drop always going after you starch it. Then it will give the egg drop this, I always call this, this forever young, okay? You, no matter how much you cook it, they will stay young and soft because it's a starch. All right, now it's hard boiling. We're gonna add it in a little bit at a time. You wanna hurry up and mix it so it's not clumping up in the soup. And remember, bring it to boil. Let it do its thing before you decide if you need more. We'll definitely need more, but then still, we will always be cautious because you cannot take it out if you overdo it. Okay, a little more. Also, how thick do you like it? It's personal as well. So, like if it's my mom, she always say, oh, starching is not healthy for you. So, don't starch too much. Okay. Let it do its thing. Oh, Christine for, missed the first part. Oh, okay. So my shrimp is just salt and uh, for rice wine and then massage, Chinese rice, Taiwanese restaurants, rice wine. Taiwanese rice wine, massage, and sea salt. And most important thing I think is, um, what goes really well with the shrimp is the ground white pepper. Okay, we need to use them all. I think this will be awesome. perfect. And you just marinate it for 15 minutes or so. <laughs> and then after that, you have to pat it dry really well. Okay, we don't want it to be too thick. But if you want it thicker, you can totally go ahead. Let's see, here. You see? Do you see? Okay, do you want it thicker? Hmm? Do you want it thicker? A little bit thicker? real cooking, right? You're always adjusting. But then look, now that it's hard boiling, it looks thicker again. So, just a little bit more. Uh, the hard working cameraman, can you go get some rice? Which plate? Huh? Oh, yeah, we have to ask. Hold on. Okay, let me thicken it first. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I say this is good. I don't want it to be too thick. That wouldn't be healthy. All right, now, egg drop. So many different kinds of egg drops, okay? Uh, if you're doing an egg drop uh, soup, hold on. If you're doing egg drop soup, it's one way. If you're doing like the the, there's uh, some soup that you want it to be really fine, kind of like a ripple from the lake, fine ripple from the lake, or barely see it, it's kind of silky, that's one way. But this one, this kind, you want big chunk and pieces of egg drop. And so when you pour the egg in, you don't want to touch it too much, okay? You just kind of gently break it apart because you do want a big chunk of egg. Now, ready? Bowling, and then you can see now it's getting a lot thicker, right? Okay, it's perfect. I'm gonna, are you doing it here? Okay, ready? Go. And as typical Chinese, we cannot waste anything here. Go in. These eggs are amazing. 
<laughs> okay, now, turn the heat off, right off. Sorry, I should have turned it off. The best way is hard boil, turn the heat off, and then sprinkle the egg in, okay? Dri drizzle the egg in. Look, we're done. Okay, I am going to do a little more green onion because I love them. Okay. Now, let me get rice. Get rice. Oh, so we were debating. I was like, oh, which play do we use? Do I use this play or this play? The black or the white? Guys, vote. Come on, which play should I use? Okay, when we were deciding, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of sesame oil. Drizzle. I always remember there was one time my mom was hosting a dinner party and then she thought she could trust me. She just said, okay, just drizzle a little bit of sesame oil on top of the finished dish. I said, okay, that's easy, right? Christine said, white, okay. And then, so I just opened the lid and drizzled. Holy smoke, I drizzled a whole, like half a, half of a jar in there. My mom was like, so mad. You know Asian mom, when they're mad, they, didn't, they, they won't just say, can you please leave the kitchen? They don't say that. I, I paid my price. I need to tell you guys, so every time when I'm putting in sesame oil, that always comes to my brain, and I'm always like, super careful. <laughs> I was damaged. Chiwa says white too. Oh, okay, everybody says white. White it is. It is Chiwa or Masa? Because now I know Taka. Is Taka here, still here? Okay, so husband did a good job making the rice like a dome. Perfect. Now, I just need to. Stir a little bit so the sesame oil is mixed in. <laughs> Did you guys see that my tag is still on my clothes? I got these dressed this today. <laughs> okay, anyways, put this on. Oh, yum yum. By the way, if you guys saw the tag and did not tell me, you're not good friends. You're not. You're supposed to tell me. Okay? Look at this. It's beautiful. I just got this in the mail and then I was trying it on and I was like, oh my god, this makes my skin color looks really good. Maybe I'll just film with this outfit today. So I put it on. I just forgot to take it off again so the tag is still on. It's new. Okay, so shout out to Smith and Vina. Okay, this is from Smith and Vina. I'm gonna um, also put the link in the description later. Okay, and you also get discount if you put in Cha Cha as your discount code, twenty percent off. Anyways, <laughs> get a close up. You want a close up? Do or do it? Okay. Look. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Hi, Ke Songxin. Hi. I've never seen you in live cooking. So happy. He's my college friend. I miss my friend in Taiwan. Okay, so Chiwa did not want to say. <laughs> oh, Chiwa was a bad friend. Christine was a bad friend. You guys. You have to hurry up and sit, okay? It's okay, because people see it anyway. A good friend always tells you, you have something in your teeth. Or, or uh, you know, you have tack on your clothes. But please, I did not, I did not want to return this, okay? It's, I'm Asian, but not that Asian, okay? <laughs> it's not because of that, okay? Now, I really can't return. <laughs> All right, let's try it, let's try let's try. First, you have to see the shrimp, uh, eat the shrimp, okay? Shrimp has to be good. Mm. 
really good. But to be honest with you, because I was talking too much, it's a little bit overcooked. So don't talk too much when you're making it. It should be faster. But it's still really good. But I just know how crunchy it could have been, right? Still very crunchy though. It's just not as crunchy as it should have been. Okay, now you have to eat it with the rice. This is my favorite kind of food. Gravy like sauce, soup, mm, egg. What's not good about it? Mm. Mm. Hi, Bobby Baba. So good. If it's not coronavirus, you should all rush to my house right now because it's so good. All right. Today is so spontaneous, and I'm so happy that I get to see some of my friends online. Thank you so much, and then I'll see you whenever again. 